Well, this has been a very interesting week collection-wise, and I'm going to start over here. This is not a thrift store find. This was a find by the roadside. An amazing find, actually. This print framed, uh, matted and under glass, had a price sticker on it of $119. And it, it talks about the, uh, the artist, a combination of artists that did this contest. Contessa Lily is a collaboration of two artists, Arnold Iger and Paul Kwan. So from beside the road, a very nice, a very nice find. Okay, let's come over here. Uh, kerosene lanterns are always popular. I always like them. This kerosene lantern is, uh, is indeed a vintage one. It has some kerosene in it. And so that was uh, probably the most expensive of the pieces that I have here right now. That was uh, 3 dollars and setting that aside, let's go next to these wonderful cut glass uh, drinking glasses. They are, as I said, cut glass. You can see the design in them. It is kind of a, a floral design. I'm trying to find a weird place where you can see the floral design really well. You can see it there. These are cut glass, very thin glass, and I'm thinking probably 1940s or or 50s in that area coming up here this is an interesting piece because it looks more modern than it is this is a tumbler it's marked in black uh, or dark blue excuse me Japan um, I'm thinking 1960s and then a, a milk glass uh, coffee mug on a, on a stemmed coffee mug uh, for 49 cents a Pyrex uh, vintage Pyrex piece with uh, green flowers and leaves on it. That was another 49 cents cent piece. You see it's on the bottom. It says Pyrex. Really nice piece. Over here I was kind of thinking that this might be an Emmett Kelly mug, but I don't see any uh, anything on it that says Emmett Kelly or who or who did it, who made it. And it says on it, why worry about tomorrow? I can hardly make it through the day. Sounds like my world. But it's really a cute vintage uh, okay moving right along it is Christmas time almost and what would Christmas be without an ugly Santa and that's what this guy is referred to um, he's from the 1950s uh, in this image he looks a little bit faded but he's not his colors are bright and vibrant very nice Santa Claus that I got for 49 cents that uh, catalogs for about $20 then there's a Family circus, uh, or cir yeah, cir circle, whatever. Um, figurine set here, or piece, um, from the Bill Kane comic strip. With Mom and Dad, and the little guy down here. And uh, marked on the bottom, Family Circus by Bill Kane uh, for Clay and Mind, My Turn Next. Um, so that's kind of a cool piece. There are some common, you know, just common that's a pressed glass piece. Uh, this this uh, bowl has a metal rim and it has uh, flow or leaves on it and a signature, but I cannot make out what the signature is. Um, again, most of these were like 49, 49 cents. There's a small milk glass dish, kind of a basket weave pattern on it. Here's a hull mixing bowl with uh, looks like roses and leaves inside of it. It's marked on the bottom Hall's, Hall's Pottery. I said Hall but it's Hall's. Pretty piece. And then over here uh, we have an interesting vase. I believe that's mid-century. I think it's 19 late 60s early 70s. Um, <clears throat> it's not marked on the bottom as to who produced it. Then uh, two hand-painted cups and the saucer from Japan and they are in very good condition very pretty and they're marked on the bottom hand painted Japan and I think they may be Norataki I'm not sure we have a an interesting 1880s bottle here pressed glass heavy glass um, I'm not sure what that was used for it's not a cruet and then a few other odds and ends here we have a, a really nice plate here with a uh, pine motif, outdoor motif, which I, which I really like because I love the outdoors, and that's from Nara, Narumi, uh, China. 
and a 3D scene here from 1900. Interesting battle uh, again from the 1900 era. And I'm rushing because I'm out of time disruption, but I ran out of time on that SD card. Um, we were looking at this pressed glass bottle, and it's very thick and it's very heavy. Has a chip in the in the rim. Doesn't bother me on this piece because of how unusual it is. Not a cruet. I think it's too heavy for a perfume bottle or cologne. Uh, it wouldn't have had a spout, so there, it wouldn't be a cruet. Not a medicine bottle. So what is it? Um, it it is, what I can tell you, is from the 1880s, the uh, top was applied after the, after the bottom was, had been manufactured. Another interesting bottle that happened upon this week is uh, this one, which is, uh, says on it, Rub Soothe for the Teeth, put, put up by E.W. Hoyt & Company, Lowell, Massachusetts. Um, it's an interesting little bottle. And then... Um, I went past this piece really quickly, and I didn't mean to because I really like this piece, and I'd really love to find a whole set like this because it's so outdoorsy, and I am definitely an outdoor person. And this just, of course, reminds me of the pine forests of northeastern Michigan that I love so much and don't get to visit any any longer. Then I also kind of dashed past this piece which is a three-dimensional type uh, piece. Um, this was done probably around 1900. They were very popular. Um, I remember my grandma and grandpa having pieces like this in their home, maybe not quite as old as this one. Uh, again, I'm thinking 1900s era, early 1900s era. Uh, it's uh, really an interesting and pretty, pretty piece. Now this is a wall hanging piece. It's not a wall pocket, um, but it is a wall hanging horse head in beautiful condition from uh, Notrust, no Japan. Um, and like I say, it's in absolutely excellent condition. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind this is from the 1950s. I haven't found a, a price um, that it you know that it's going for but uh, I paid 50 cents for it now really cool to me is this stack of plates because these are all Michigan commemorative plates and I'm not going to show you all of them because I'm going to do a separate video on Michigan commemorative plates and on collecting them and I'll probably be putting that together in the next couple of days so um, that's uh, about it for this time. Some nice finds for this uh, for this uh, first week of December, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed looking at them. And again, I'm sorry I rushed through, but like I said, I was running out of time on my SD card. Well, thanks everybody for taking a look. What I didn't show you are the fossil finds and stuff I made this week, but uh, I'm doing separate videos on those too. So, anyways, thanks for stopping by. God bless and have a great.